So from the start of this channel, you guys have seen all my monitor setups. We've had it all. 27 inch, 34 inch, 38 inch, we've had 49 inches, we've even recently had a 57 inch Samsung Odyssey Neo G9. And as far as orientation, we've had dual monitor setups in a vertical format, we've had dual monitor setups in a horizontal format. I've pretty much seen and done it all. But I have never done this. Because we got three ROG Swift OLED PG27 AQDMs right here, baby. And we're gonna set these up in a triple monitor orientation, 2K resolution on a 4090. We're gonna see, first of all, how the performance is and is it really gonna be feasible to run three 2K monitors with a 4090? Can it handle it? Now these monitors come packed with a lot of features. We got 2560 by 1440p resolution, 240 Hertz. It's an Asus OLED panel and it's 0.03 millisecond response time with G-Sync compatibility and AMD FreeSync Premium. So I'm really curious to see how these monitors will perform when it comes to a surround style type of setup because as you guys can see, the 57 inch from Samsung is off this desk. So we're gonna be hooking these up. I'm gonna be putting it in time lapse. We're gonna set everything up and then we're gonna play some games and see how the FPS is and is it worth it having a triple monitor setup because I still believe it is. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna say this looks pretty crazy. All right, this is actually my first time using a triple monitor setup, guys. And uh, this thing is just like super immersive. Now, previously, my old monitor was the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, uh, 57 inch dual 4K monitor. So putting these three 2560 by 1440p resolution monitors and shall I add OLED monitors definitely takes you to a whole different level. Now I get it, there's a lot of things I do gotta clean up, but for the purpose of this video i did want to first go ahead and just connect these to their um included stands and obviously if somebody else uh, like decides to do a triple monitor setup just like this just know that without these stands and using a proper proper desk mount or a wall mount you could save a lot of space because these things pretty much take a good amount of space when they're coming on your desk and you can see there's just such little clearance if you really want to put them all together i did try to align these as perfect as possible but I guarantee you if I spent a little bit more time, I would be able to get it really aligned. Also in the NVIDIA settings, I did connect this to NVIDIA surround. So we are pretty much synced all around running a resolution at 7680 by 1440. But the most important thing is in game, how are these three monitors gonna perform and how much of a performance hit are we gonna take? And that's what we're gonna find out because I have a few games that we're gonna actually run on these triple 2560 by 1440p monitors. And we're gonna see, are we gonna to really take a performance in with triple 2k resolution monitors L let's just get into it all right so first game we're gonna be playing is call of duty warzone i'm very curious to see uh how this game is gonna perform on triple uh 2560 by 1440 resolution but let me go first into the settings make sure everything is uh pretty much set up before we start. So in the Call of Duty Warzone settings, we are using NV Surround for NVIDIA Surround. We got an RTX 4090, 240 Hertz, 7680 by 1440. And for our settings, we're using DLSS and we have pretty much on, everything's on high guys. Uh, so this is gonna be very interesting to see with all these graphical settings up to the max, how it's gonna play. Our FPS right now is at 222 FPS. Let's see if that drops. I'm pretty sure it's gonna drop, but let's see what happens. Now, one thing I do actually really dislike about a triple panel setup or dual panel setup is these black borders. I just, I think they're so distracting, but um, 
if the FPS is good and you're into your game, I don't think that's really going to bother you as much. But we will see. So I'm actually landing right now and things are running buttery smooth and this is really immersive. This is extremely immersive. But FPS running at 170, this is totally playable guys. Triple 2K monitors on a 4090. Uh, we're playing on these OLED panels from ASUS and this is extremely playable. Now keep in mind, uh, we do have G-Sync on because it's, these monitors are G-Sync compatible. So things are pretty much, uh, there's no kind of screen tearing going on. As far as the stretching goes on these monitors, it's not that bad. I'm, I'm not even seeing kind of stretch. So I'm looking left, right, and the stretching is not horrible whatsoever. And we just found somebody. Will I die because I suck at games? Am I actually able to come back, folks? Let's see. I have no confidence in my gaming skills whatsoever. Oh, and there he is. He is hiding and we did not come back. All right, next game. So as you guys can see, we have Cyberpunk 2077 and to just give you guys an idea what settings we are on. So we have DLSS Super Resolution on, we have Ray Reconstruction, and then also we have DLSS, um, I'm sorry, Ray Tracing. And also we have Ray Tracing as you can see, and all the settings are pretty much on high and psycho and ultra. So we are pushing this 4090 to the max. And if you guys can see, we are getting 71, 68 FPS, definitely playable, very immersive. It is definitely not bad. Now I didn't align the monitors perfectly, which I could do that if uh, I've spent a little bit more time on it. But Cyberpunk 2077 with 76 FPS, let's go somewhere crowded so we can see where the frames will be because once we get populated areas, we we'll probably will see the frames dropping a little bit, but we're still at 73. So again, this game, 60 and above is fantastic. And even a little bit under 60 is definitely playable. I don't know what's going on, but we're out of here. The HDR is crazy. We're at 70 FPS while driving, 68, 72. As you guys can see, um, it is definitely smooth playable and extremely immersive using obviously a 4090 so i, I it's insane how far we've come all right the next game we're going to be playing is doom everybody knows doom and right now on doom with everything on extra uh, highest settings possible we're hitting 215 fps all right and everything is really smooth very immersive again i thought the black borders are going to be a problem but no the black borders are not and we are hitting 221 fps triple 2k monitors and we are literally i forgot how chaotic doom can be and uh yeah game's really stable over 200 fps look at the detail the detail it's just amazing at hdr the detail in color Everything looks dark. All the darks look extremely inky. One of the benefits of gaming on an OLED monitor, especially one as fast as this, 240 hertz. We're getting a 209, 224 FPS. Whoever was wondering if they can play Doom on a triple monitor setup, you guys can. We decided to jump into Hogwarts Legacy. This game is uh, was pretty demanding when it came out, but a lot of things have been fixed. And I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and try to play with a triple 2k monitor and see what kind of fps we get and surprisingly we're at 104. let's turn on ray tracing so we can see ray tracing in action and we'll go ahead and we'll put it to ultra ray tracing all right so with ray tracing on we are getting 61 63 fps uh, definitely playable again this game 60 and above is playable i don't see any kind of hitches i am moving left and right it is buttery smooth definitely playable hogwarts legacy triple 2k monitor uh, with 4090 every setting up to the max with ray tracing on ultra guys this is definitely doable now i know there's gonna be some people that are gonna get nauseous or this is not an ideal setup for them but wasn't so bad for me and i actually enjoyed it so let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think would you guys rock this kind of setup if you had a chance or if you could i would love to know and as always guys i appreciate the support and i will catch you on the next one